Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Lone Wolf 902. Today I'm out doing an overnighter, but I just want to take a few minutes away from that and I really want to talk about the new knife that I've been using because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. So I got the knife on my hip right now. I'll go ahead and take it off and show it to you guys a little bit closer and let's kind of go over and talk about it a little bit. All right guys, so here it is in the Kydex sheath. Uh, what we got here is a combo. So we got a fire steel, we got a striker, and then we got the knife, and we got a neat little belt clip on the rear, which you can go ahead, open up, and snap it on your waist. Now this belt clip can be reversed and flipped and flopped in all kinds of different ways. So it came mounted like this, so I'd wear it on the side of my hip. And I didn't really like that. I, I kind of wanted more of a side draw. So I went ahead and just took out two of the little screws, very simple, two minutes and flipped it it actually comes with the tool so and flipped it and now i can just go ahead lock it in and wear it on my side so this guy is there's there's no actual name that i could find for the knife but it is from holtzman gorilla survival and i'll put the link down in the description of this video where you guys can find this at so i'll go ahead and take out all the components lay it down and uh on this log here and then we'll kind of go over each individual piece and talk about it a little bit more all right guys so here you can see we've got the kydex sheath all emptied out this kydex sheath is very 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 nice the nice snaps in here very positively if you guys can listen to this like that is a very very nice snap and it's not coming out of there i've tried to get this thing to fall out and it won't fall out now one benefit that this case has is they went ahead and put a leather strap on here with a snap just in case you are walking through the woods and somehow you get this thing to dislodge out of the case, it's still, it's still not falling out. Now when you go and lock it in, like I said, you get that really nice loud click to let you know that it's in there. So go ahead and pull the knife back out. So here we got the little spot for the striker. We've got the spot for the fire steel. We got the leather snap, like I just said, and we got the little belt clip. So like I mentioned earlier, you can move this belt clip anywhere on the, on the sheath. You can reverse the stuff if you want to wear it left-handed, right-handed, any kind of wear you really need to works very, very good. So set that off to the side. Now coming in to the knife itself. This knife is incredibly sharp. Now it's all dirty and beat up because I've been beating the crap out of it, testing it. And I gotta say, this thing is a beast, an absolute beast. So it's made out of D2 steel. It has very, very nice grip to it. Very, very nice. Uh, I can't find any hot spots on this at all. So it doesn't bind into my hand. It doesn't, it doesn't cause any blisters or anything like that. These are G10 scales, black and silver. Very nice, very grippy even when it's wet. I don't have to wear a glove with this at all. Now this blade is a hollow grind. Very, very nice with a kind of like a drop point, clip point type style up here. Uh, very sharp. It's got a very generous choil up here right by the finger guard. No jimping on this blade. So I was a little disappointed that there wasn't any jimping, but they do put a little slot in here, a little kind of groove cut. So your thumb actually hooks up really, really nicely. And it offers more space up here if you want to use the fire steel with the knife. You can really hook up really, really close and get a good shave on that. So that's really, really nice. Um, also, it has little thumb grooves on the sides of the scales, which make it really, really easy if you are using the fire steel. You can turn the knife on the side and your thumb just kind of falls into that little groove to really push, really, really push higher down on it. So very, very, very nice, well thought out. Uh, I wanna say the blade is probably pushing about four and a half inches and the, the knife I believe is coming out about, possibly about eight, eight and a half inches long. I'm not totally sure on the specs. Um, I am out in the, in the woods, so I'm kind of limited for, uh, for internet use and whatnot. But um, yeah, it's, it's a generous blade. It's not huge, it's not small. It's, it's hefty, it's got, a, it's got a nice weight to it, and it's definitely solid, very, very solid knife. So, I've, like I said, I've been beating the crap out of this, I've been batoning with it, I've been doing feather sticks, I've been cutting. Excellent, excellent blade. It also features a nice pommel on the end, so if you do need to kind of pound anything, crack anything, break anything, um, it, it's got that there, and it also has a hole for your lanyard. So, go ahead and set the blade aside for now and we'll talk about some of the accessories that it comes with. 
All right, so the accessories that it comes with is this little striker for your fire steel. Now, the striker and the fire steel are both G10 handles, just like the knife. Very nice. And these are built like the craftsmanship on this is outstanding. I went over the entire knife and I went over the, the scraper and the fire steel for probably a good half hour, 20 minutes, just staring at it. Like there, you can't see any seams. There's no flaws, nothing. They, they Excellent, excellent. Very, very, very high standards on this stuff. So like I was saying, got the striker. It's about two inches long. Very nice 90 degree angle on both sides. So you can really get a good, strong spark. So <clears throat> right in my face. So it does have a little hole at the top also. So if you do want to go ahead and put a little cordage on that, maybe wear it on your neck with the fire steel and take it off the knife sheath, you can also do that. But very, very nice scraper, very nice. Now the, the fire steel, this guy is coming in. I believe the fire steel itself is about two and a half inches. And then we're looking at another inch for the handle. Uh, this red bungee does not come with it. So I went ahead and put this bungee on here. So when I do have it in the sheath, um, and, and you guys probably know what this is for. I mean, a lot of people put these on there. Basically, right now, the fire steel is still brand new, and it hasn't really lost a whole lot of diameter. So it fits in here very, very, very tight. Very tight right now. So this cord's not really needed. Very tight. If I can get it back in there, it goes. All right. So we got a very tight fit on the fire steel in the sheath, which is very good. Now, when you start using this fire steel over and over and over again, it's gonna decrease in diameter and it can fall out. So what I've gone ahead and done is just took a little piece of bungee cord, snapped it on there. So when you do wear it, if you're wearing it on the side or you bend down or whatever, it's not gonna fall out. You're not gonna lose it on the ground or anything like that. And I, I think this is pretty common. You see this, a lot of people do that. Very, very common. So just a little hack if you guys are, uh, if you guys are tight, if you guys are uh, getting into this kind of stuff, it's it's always good to put a little bungee cord on there so it's uh, it's not going to fall out when it does decrease in size. Now the striker fits in here very very well, very well. I I thought this was going to fall out actually, and I kept constantly looking down on my hip to make sure it was there. This thing, it's in there good, like it snaps in with a good positive snap. So. It's in and there's not really any area where it can catch when you're wearing it on, on anything. So it's pretty good fit. So we got the fire steel, we got the striker. Like I said, we got a little snap on our leather strap here to hold the knife in. Go ahead and lock that knife in there and give you guys a little demo again. Nice click, very, very, very nice, nice. And you actually have to kind of fight to get it out a little bit. I like put my thumb here and pulling to get it to dislodge. Like it's it's an awesome fit. Very, very happy with this. So like I said, Holtzman Gorilla Survival sent this out to me. They hit me up in an email and I said, absolutely, I'll take a look at it. And it is now my favorite knife, absolutely favorite. So I'm not gonna go in and go do a whole bunch of demos with a knife on, in this video. I'm not gonna do feather sticks. I'm not gonna baton it. Um, it definitely holds up to it. Absolutely, I've been taught hardwood, hard oak, maple, pine, softwood, all kinds. Feather sticks, like really nice feather sticks. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that because I'm actually looking at getting another version of this knife from Holtzman Survival. And once I receive that knife, I'm going to put the two up against because this one's D2 steel. The other one is um, high carbon steel. So I'm very interested to see how they both perform. And I think if I, uh, if I do a, a kind of head to head comparison, that'll kind of give you guys an idea of, do I want the D2 steel or do I want the, the high carbon steel? So once I receive the other knife, I'll go ahead and I'll do a very, very detailed video on beating the crap out of them. <laughs> I'll do some batoning, I'll do some feather sticks and whatnot. But for now, I just wanted to really kind of show you this to you guys. It's, I love it. I, I really do. And this will be on my hip and it has been actually for the last six videos. Uh, I don't know if you guys picked up on that yet, but uh, it's been with me for the last six videos and it's, it's, it's a beautiful blade. Awesome craftsmanship. Love it. So thank you Holtzman Gorilla Survival for sending this to me. And like I said, when I receive the other one, I will definitely do a full review and demo. So thank you guys for tuning in. That's what the knife is. I know I'm going to get asked this. So I really wanted to put out this video. That's what it is, and the link is in the description. Peace out, guys.